what's made of what's not. Also tonight, making a back-to-school uh, active pursuit for a maritime student. We'll hop on board a bicycle bus for that story a little later on Live at Five. All right, coming up next, the wheels on the bicycle. Find out why these students are using bikes instead of the bus. Live at 5 gets active after the break. Welcome back to Live at 5. Well, a handful of children in Summerside rode to school today on a different kind of bus, a bicycle bus. But this wasn't a school bus adapted to carry bicycles. This Louise D'Ambio shows us it was actually a convoy of bicycle riding students with adult riding walkers. So we all crossed every intersection together. Uh, the bicycle bus is the brainchild of cycling enthusiast and father of four, Kent Trenholm. The idea is that with an adult riding along, a convoy of school children can ride their bikes to school and back along a designated route. Today's first ever bicycle bus is started in an elementary school parking lot in a residential neighborhood on the western edge of Summerside. The bus made its way along the Confederation Trail to deliver students to their French immersion classes at another elementary school. Bye bye! Parents and children love the idea that the ride is supervised and safe. I think it's awesome. I love riding my bike. It's a big issue for me because it, it hits a lot of busy roads. Um, I'm finding that, um, you know, sometimes there's areas there's not much crosswalks for them to cross. Um, so, yeah, I, it's very important to have it uh, supervised. It's pretty cool. Uh, you used it? It's fun. We already did a practice run, and it was really fun doing them. It's nice that they can learn how to travel with an adult. And I know Kenton, and I know they're they're gonna end up where they <laughs> where they're uh, planning on going. So it's nice that they can travel to school together. They are coming to school anyway. Many of them love to take their bicycles, and we have an adult that's going to teach them the proper way to cross the road, but also be there with them when they do cross the road. So the safety factor physical factor and the being involved with your parents and parents being involved with the students, you just can't beat that. No, we we the the group's always safe for riding as, riding as a group, no matter where you are. We all need leaders, and so we want to give everybody an opportunity to be a leader of the group. So with the leader comes some increased skill development, some increased road knowledge, and everything like that. And so understanding that whenever you come to an intersection, what do you do? After the first bicycle bus riders were dropped off at their school, Trenholm and the last rider navigated through city streets to her intermediate school. The bicycle bus ride covered two and a half kilometers, compared to a school bus ride at least three times that distance, stopping at 